Okay, ladies, we are going to be doing the Metaluso video today. I'm going to be using all the Metaluso products that I have, so we're just going to jump right on into it. Uh, she just sent me this new primer. We are going to mix it with our, um, what did I do with it? Here it is. With the Metaluso Mix Cream, the medium shade for our foundation. So we're just going to squirt some of that out. I don't think I'm getting there it is it's coming out now okay we've got that and do a couple pumps of the primer and we're just going to mix those two together on the back of the hand like that and we're going to get it on our face Okay, take our foundation brush that's not looking right to me. So let's get that blended in. And I used this the other day and it leaves your skin with a natural looking finish. I like the way it looks. It's not heavy at all. We're just going to do us a little natural look today. Bring it all down the neck. And I don't know if y'all have noticed the new button on my Facebook post where you can send me stars to support my videos um, all you do is down at the bottom it should say like in this video and it says send stars and you can send me stars and it Facebook pays me a penny for every star that I get so I want to let y'all in on that and now we are going to go in with the mix cream light for our concealer and we only need a little of this let me see if I can find my other brush so we're just going to dab a little of that and get this put it up under our eye put it on our eyelid for some primer Just like so. But all these products from Metaluso have skincare ingredients in them, so it is actually good for your skin. And it's all vegan and cruelty free. And I will leave a link to the Metaluso site where you can look around and get you some if you want them, if you are interested. And I think my coat with her is still good, uh, Kushter 5. I think you get $5 off your order. I think that's what it was. I really can't remember. I'm going to have to check on that. Let me get a mirror here where I can see. I don't have enough light. Okay, we have that. And then we are going to go in with the uh, Mix Dark and the Dark Shade to contour, to cream contour. And a little bit of this goes a very long way. Let me just get us a little of this out. 
to this little strap there. I hope I didn't put too much of that on. A little strap there. Some on the forehead. Toning it down. Put some on the jaw. Camouflage it double chin. We're going to try to contour the nose with it. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. And just a little bit under the bottom lip to make our lips pouty. Let's get that put up. Let me find my little brush, a little flat top kabuki brush, and we're just gonna pounce that in. I hope I didn't put too much of that on. I forget how dark this is. And remember, ladies, you want to blend this up. Don't go below the hollow of your cheek. I like to part my cheekbones out, but... Get this. Blend down. Like a hair all in my face. Go back in with a foundation brush and just tap around the edges of it to make sure that's all blended in, especially here. So we didn't have any like this. Blend it down. And go back in with our foundation brush and blend a little bit more. Okay. Let me find my brush for my nose contour. And do the best we can because I don't know what I do with my other brush. And we're just going to blend that. Blend it up into the eyebrows. Like so. Blend this all out. Okay, I think I got that blended good. There. We can go back in that concealer brush and just make sure we got that all blended in good. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go in to powders. And where did I put them? We're going to be using the, for under our eyes, we're going to use the Micro Matte Foundation and Finish Powder in shade 2. Get our little brush and swirl it in there. And remember, look up and stretch that under eye out, ladies. And powder under our eyes. Just like so. 
and everywhere we put that concealer is where we want to put this powder. Just like so, I'm going to take a little bit and just run right under that contour. Okay, we have that. Now we're going to go in with shade 3 in the same, it's the same foundation finishing powder and get our big brush, swirl it in there and powder the rest of our face down just like so this hair I'm fixing to have it all cut off tomorrow okay we have that Let me put a little powder puff back in there yeah I rearranged all my makeup the other day and I don't know where everything is at yet. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go in with the Master Blender Powder. And we are going to bronze with it a little bit. Let's see. Let's find us a good little brush. Go with a fluffy brush like this. Swirl it in there. Tap off the excess. And bronze this baby up. It's a beautiful powder. It gives your skin such a glow to it. So pretty. Get a little under here. Okay, we have that. And next, what do we need? Okay, I don't have a blush from her. So I'm just going to go in and use just this from the Color Workshop and go into uh, this shade right here. I don't know what the name of it is. Tap off the excess. Ooh, that's a little big minute. Okay, ladies, I have no idea what's going on with my videos. This is the third time I have recorded this video. The last two times, I get the first half of the video, and the end just disappears. So, I'm just going to record the end, and maybe I'll be able to keep it. But I had, I've got everything else on. Now, I'm going to go in with some of the metal loose, so it's a liquid eyeshadow. Uh, it's just got a, sh it's a shade 4 on the bottom of it. It's like a metallic, and I'm just going to add a little bit of it right here. This is such a pretty eyeshadow and she sent me several shades but I like this one see how pretty they are and now we're gonna go in with the moxie me eyeliner this is how the wand looks it makes it very easy to put this eyeliner on to me anyway try to remember not to cover the camera up and I hope the video takes its time if not I don't know what to do it's very pretty I usually don't use liquid liners because I can't control it and I usually get it all over my face but this one makes a world of difference. This makes it so easy to put on. 
I'm not going to try to do no wing today. That is what we're going to do. There's a look at that. And yes, I got my hair cut off like I said I was going to. Maybe I should pull this shade down so you can't see through it. But what do y'all think about it? I absolutely love it. And now, last but not least, we're going to go in with the Metal Lusso Mascara. You have your wand where you put your mascara on. And then after you put your mascara on and you want to separate your lashes, you twist the top part off and it pulls it out like that. So you can separate your lashes without putting more mascara on. So, let's give it a whirl. I hope I didn't leave this open. But I got a feeling I did. I cannot believe I did that. I left the tube open. It has dried my mascara out. It's a brand new tube of mascara too. Blow it out and separate the lashes. Good. I love having this other wand. You can go in, you can separate your lashes without caking more mascara on. But okay, ladies, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave links to uh, Metalisa site so y'all can check out all the stuff that she has. And if y'all want to try out the stuff that I used in the video today, I'll, um, I'll tag them. That way y'all know which ones that I used. And I have um, a discount code with Metal Lasso. It's Kustra5. And you say five. Oh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. You get $5 off your order. So if you want to use that, use it. And save you a little bit of money. I don't get any money off of it. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, uh, give us a thumbs up. And share it with somebody. Share it on your page. It really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.